I recently finished this sketchbook. So guess what time it is. A beautiful, brand new, crispy sketchbook. Let's break into it. Ah, blank page we meet again. Such an exciting, beautiful thing a fresh start is. Safe to say this is now a little ritual as I get quite excited every time. Over the years, this was a great skill and challenge for me to build up with a way to set intentions and create a commitment. Sometimes I was in the mood to have fun and go all out, and other times I wouldn't even touch the inside cover. Everyone has different ways and different things that make them feel good, so doing this is something that personally helps me. There's a common misconception where a new sketchbook can be associated with the feeling of fear. Can you relate to this? If you do, let me take a moment and try to help you get out of that. Try to think of it this way, the spontaneity of a blank page full of so many possibilities. Essentially, it's a fresh start and new beginning. It gives you a chance to build new momentum. Perhaps it's your very first sketchbook or you've completed one and now starting a new one. Give yourself credit, how exciting. A great connection I like to make is to think of it as a new adventure, a new opportunity and another chance to step out of your comfort zone because that is where the most growth exists. And I truly wish that for you, for all of us. So erase fear out of your mind. Get rid of perfection because it does not exist. Because at the end of the day, it's just a page. And if anything, it's waiting for your explosion of creativity. You can do anything you wish in your sketchbook. And in this episode, I want to bring you along my creative process for this new one. Like with any book or movie, there's a story. When we open a book, we get a little introduction and taste of what it's going to be about. So to set the mood for this one and to continue my love for typography, I'm beginning with some text to welcome you along with me and for anyone who may ever open it in the future. And here's what I'm thinking for the illustration to accompany it. Okay, so as you know, I like to switch it up and tell a little story in the inside cover. So here's what I'm thinking. I did this sketch a while ago. You know when you do a sketch and you never actually turn into a finished piece? So we're going to work with this, change it around a little bit so that it fits the composition. And I think that it'll be a great little intro and joy and fun to the inside cover. Bringing in all the elements that make me smile, that make me happy, infusing that into the sketchbook. I'm thinking to have my studio buddy Tilda on the bottom playing with a bird and maybe some doodles flowing out around this way. I want the body language of me as the character to be fun and effortless as if I'm dancing and paint will flow out of the brush I'm holding. But as everything works out in my head and in my vision, I know I have to let go and surrender to the creative process first. What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching. But my heart decides Thoughts can be cruel They're not mine to own The space unravels When you let go What's yours it in mind That energy goes today The feather in the fire Will blow it home your way Sometimes you just gotta take that extra step for the proper lighting for painting. So I wanna show how I take my own reference. I dress up in my overalls, grab my sketchbook and my brush, and just had fun with it. Okay, so I just took some more references to get the right position of the foot and the hand and the brush. And uh, it's kinda cute. <laughs> uh, okay, pause. You may be thinking, why am I going this extra mile to do all of this just for a sketchbook page? This time around, I'm just taking an opportunity to practice lighting, even photography, modeling if you wish. I know it'll be worth it to have that information in the final painting. Plus, whenever I do something, I just want to give it my all. 
and inspire you to do the same. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good reference for the feet as well so that I can get the placement of the converse and the overalls. Definitely better to have the reference and take your own than not because now you actually have the information to work with. You got some shadows, you got a nice little roadmap of all you need. What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides. Thoughts can be cruel, they're not mine to own the space unraveled. All right, the sketch is laid out. And before I start painting, I just wanna show you guys something on what I like to do to make sure all my references are in one place. I recently started using Milanote and they're also the kind sponsors of today's video. And as artists, uh, yeah, we're very visual people. So it's super helpful to have it right in front of you all together. Let me show you. Here's my little project board, which I've broken down into three main steps. If you haven't heard of Milanote, by the way, it's a perfect tool for organizing your creative projects. I can create new boards if I want. I can collect everything I need, images, colors, text, all in one place, which is awesome. I can color pick my palette straight from my color composition so that I can match it with my gouache paint, which is next up on the checklist. I actually organized also my whole alphabet series, if you remember that video with Milanote. My patrons saw that exclusive video with the inside scoop there. I created quick little reminders on what to think about during painting. And check out this mood board I created for my references, my inspiration. I can annotate it with different colors, remind myself which text to put. And this works especially excellent when I'm looking at the flow of the composition of the overall piece. I like to keep it as simple as possible, but when you're starting a new project, it's really easy because they have 100 built-in templates available for any kind of type of creative project. When you're ready to share your work, you can invite friends, colleagues, clients to gather feedback, collaborate. These are great for collaborations, especially for creatives. So it could be really helpful for you. And Milanote is available for free with no time limit. So sign up using the link in the description and start your next creative project. I know I'll be using it to plan my next art book. Another reason why I'm practicing this spread. So now that everything's laid out in front of me, it's time to get fully lost in the inking and painting process. There's a visual story that letter form has. As I've been diving deeper and deeper into the subject of typography, I feel that there's such a beautiful element of design and I find it quite therapeutic to find the balance between every shape, curve, how thick or thin a line is in a letter. And I find it quite exquisite when words and pictures can dance together in unison on a page. welcome the viewer into the sketchbook. I was inspired by a few fonts, mixed them together, and also came up with a little piece of text which I put in a border. These are all elements that fascinate me, and truly time stops when I'm in the whole inking process. Once the inking portion on the left was complete, it's time to start the painting on the right, which I decided to complete in gouache. I want the colors of this painting to reflect the feeling of the piece as well. I didn't spend much time on the color because I want the spontaneity to show through in the painting process, but I've got my overall feel of the piece when I did it on my iPad. Even though I like staying organized and planning, I still leave some things out because I feel that it comes naturally and in the moment during the painting process. Plus, I find that there's something so special about not knowing everything before you begin and trusting that it will all come together in the end. 
I definitely didn't plan this flow to move on to the next page. Initially, I had a sticker here, but I decided to create this complete wave that's gonna connect both pages together. It's gonna start from the brush and it's gonna explode all through both pages. And elements like these just come intuitively in the moment, which is why I feel like it's important to leave those moments for yourself with those elements of surprise. Both Tilda and I are dancing on top of this giant pencil, which you may recognize from my seven habits video. So one thing you may notice is that every element that I take are things that lift the soul, things that are personal to me. And I inspire you to also search within yourself to see what grabs your attention within your life, your story, your memories, the people in your life, the pets that you have. There's so much light around us. Just pay close attention and why not let that inspire your creativity? This is my very first time using this sketchbook and this brand and I was so surprised with how well it was keeping up with the gouache and all the mixed media that I love to use. I'm still testing the paper and still seeing how I feel but I have to say my first impressions are quite impressive. I've heard great things about it so we'll see what happens. Again, you never really know until you try. But I'll surely keep you guys posted on what I think. As I'm slowly building up all the layers of the gouache, regardless of all the reference you can take, I also love combining photos that I take with the real life object that you can hold in front of you and then apply to your painting. To add to the story of creativity with this illustration, I'm adding some art supplies, some colored pencils that are standing on top as well. I did this to fill up the composition, take something that's right from my studio and add just a little bit of pop of color on the bottom right corner and then I mentally and physically prepared for a steady hand. With practice, repetition, and massive action, you eventually develop a muscle memory. And this can be applied to any area or skill in your life. Even though I've practiced for quite some time, I still hold my breath and make sure I'm in full concentration mode. As the illustration is in full color, I decided to have the little doodles around being black and white just to give that illusion that the sketches and drawings are exploding out of the sketchbook. I also played with the overlapping shapes and elements of the letters as well. And a touch of water creates a beautiful consistency for the paint to flow off the brush. And no matter I'm doing a finished big piece or a sketchbook spread, I always make sure that everything is connected. A way I like to wrap things up, per se. The little doodles and drawings encompass and symbolize the ideas, stories, memories, adventures, challenges, everything that will happen in the sketchbook pretty much. Since I started this on the last week of January of 2023, I decided to have it as if it's engraved in the big pencil. I'll fill the end date once it's complete. And it's pointing to the right, leading us on to the next page. Okay, since you've made it this far into the video, here's what I wanna do for you. Since you're here in this moment, watching this video right here, right now, I wanna have the chance to give back to you guys for all your love and support thus far. I have five brand new sketchbooks that I wanna give away to you guys. 
five lucky subscribers will have a chance to win one free brand new sketchbook from me packaged by me delivered to you all you have to do is share your work over on instagram and hashtag sharing art with jess and i'm gonna pick five winners by march 1st so you have a whole month to share your art oh and i'll also throw in some cute heart stickers right to accompany your sketchbook this is patreon's february sticker that i custom made but it will be yours as well as my little glitter token of love to you once i pick a winner we'll get all that situated and uh this brand new sketchbook will be yours. Share your art, hashtag sharing art with Jess on Instagram, and I can't wait to see your creations. So with that, let's take a look at the final result of this spread. This already brings me so much joy when I open it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you want some more tips on starting your sketchbook, I have a previous video I uploaded right up here. You can check that out next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.